also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days, tell me, I will pour out my spirit, verse 32, and it shall come to pass. In your life, it shall come to pass. In your family, it shall come to pass. In our church, it shall come to pass. In our nation, it shall come to pass. In this state of ours, it shall come to pass. That whosoever, that whosoever, that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Everyone that opens his mouth tonight to call on the name of the Lord, deliverance will come from every direction unto you in Jesus' name. Deliverance in your soul. Deliverance in your spirit. Deliverance in your mind. Deliverance in your brain. Deliverance in your body. And all those things that are hiding there and they want to hold you captive, deliverance has come for you in Jesus' name. Whosoever, whosoever, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, my sister wipe away those tears, deliverance has come. My son, my daughter there, wipe away the tears, deliverance has come. All the chains that bind you, all the yokes that come upon your life, tonight, 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 your own deliverance has come in Jesus' name. That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance as the Lord has said. As the Lord has said, he cannot lie. As the Lord has said, he cannot fail. As the Lord has said, he cannot deny himself. As the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Everyone that the Lord shall call, if you know the Lord has called you, he called you to salvation. He called you to his only begotten son, and you have responded. You have repented. You are believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. It says, all that tremor that the Lord shall call, the Lord will bring deliverance. As you look at these verses, when it says, I'll pour my spirit upon all flesh, what's the result of that? Number one, the purpose of the spirit. The purpose of the spirit. What's the purpose? It shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, in Judea, Samaria, to the uttermost part of the earth. Every weakness will come out of your life. All the kind of weariness, everything will get out of your life. In Jesus' name, power. I said power. In your soul, in your spirit, in your mouth, in your hands, in your walking, in your standing, in your evangelism, in your prayer, power in Jesus' name. The purpose of the Spirit. Number two, peace through salvation. Peace through salvation. The Spirit of God is involved in our salvation. Because, it says, except he be born of water and of the Spirit. Of the Spirit, ye cannot be, ye cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Peace through salvation. Number three, Purity in sanctification. You see, the Spirit of God is involved in our holiness. Is the Holy Spirit, is the Spirit of holiness, is the Spirit of sanctification. It will sanctify you through and through. Your thoughts will be sanctified. Your actions will be sanctified. Your mind will be sanctified. And your whole entire life will be sanctified in Jesus' name. In the private sanctification. In the public sanctification, on the pulpit sanctification, at the pew sanctification, anywhere you go, the holiness of the Spirit will follow you in Jesus' name. Number four, the perception of Scripture. The perception of Scripture. When the Spirit is come, He will remind you of all that the Lord has taught you, and then He will reveal to you things to come. It will give you understanding, perception of the scripture. Number five, progress in soul winning. Progress in soul winning. You will not be buried. The power of the Lord will overshadow your life. 
and that power of the Lord will give you the wisdom to talk and to speak to the people that are waiting. When they hear your word, they will repent, they will turn in Jesus' name. Number six, stronghold, power over stronghold. Power over stronghold. Every stronghold that has stood in your way, the power of the Holy Ghost is coming upon your life. The dynamite of the Spirit will blow them off from your life in Jesus' name. Number seven, protection from evil spirits. Protection from evil spirits. Behold, I give unto you power. Where's the person there? Don't cry anymore now. Don't weep anymore. Don't complain anymore. They come, they come. Stand up and face them. I said stand up and face them. Before you say, in Jesus' name. Before you finish, they are gone. God is going to give you protection and is going to make sure that you keep on standing. Nothing will defeat you again in Jesus' name. <laughs> Number eight, prevention of sickness. Prevention of sickness. You'll be encircled by the fire of the Holy Ghost. All those rats, all those cockroaches, all those lizards, all those uh, diseases, all those sicknesses, as they are coming, the fire that encircles your life will burn them up. They cannot pass through the fire of the Holy Ghost and then come meet your life. There will be prevention of sicknesses in your life in Jesus' name. I see somebody healthy in front of me. Somebody strong in, in front of me. All those incurable diseases, they will not make your house a residence. Your body will not be a temple for them. They are gone. I said they are gone. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe. Your eyes will not be deep. Your voice will not be weak. Your body will not collapse. Because the Spirit of God will grant you prevention of sicknesses. Number nine, penetration into the supernatural. Did you hear that one? Penetration into the supernatural. You will penetrate every supernatural realm arena around you in Jesus' name. Number 10, purification of speech, a new tongue, a new language, a powerful language, a language that will subdue everything around you in Jesus' name. Purification of speech. Number 11, possession of a sufficiency. Possession of a sufficiency. No lack anymore. No scarcity anymore. Every need of your life by the Spirit is met in Jesus' name. Number 12, the promise of sustainable spirituality. Sustainable. You get it here, you are going to keep it. On the road, you'll keep it. In the office, you'll keep it. The freshness of the Spirit will be upon your life. Sustainable, sustainable, sustainable. Tonight is the beginning of a new day in your life. A new blessing in your life. Multiplied blessings in your life. Not only in your life, in your family. In our church. In this, our state. And in our nation. Through you, through me, through us together, blessings will overflow in this nation. 
fear not then, O land. Be glad, rejoice. This time, the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring. For the tree beareth her fruit, and the big tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad, be glad, be glad, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given you the pomerade moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. The floors shall be full of wheat. The vat shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore unto you the years that the locusts have eaten. My people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I'll pour my spirit upon all flesh. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in this place, in Mount Zion, in this place at the headquarters shall be deliverance, says the Lord, in the remnant whom the Lord has called. Has the Lord called you today? Have you responded to the call of God? Rise up and open your mouth before the Lord. Blessings today. Overflowing blessing. Spiritual blessing. Natural blessing. Every form of blessing. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let, be, let there be repentance, personal repentance. Anything the Spirit of God is convincing you, convicting you about. Personal repentance, parental repentance. Look at the lives of your children. Look at the way they are going. And see the areas where you have not lived up to standard before your boys, before your girls, your sons, and your daughters. Parental repentance. The princess repentance. Your leader. Over a community. A leader, a captain, a director, a manager. You are the prince over there in that company. If things are not going well, the priest will have to come before the Lord. Repentance. Priestly repentance. Priestly repentance as a priest of the Lord. Repentance. Look at the congregation of the Lord under your care. They suffer. They need. They are ignorant. The scarcity. And you have not been the way you ought to be to them. Bringing them and bringing their knees before the Lord. Priestly repentance. The prodigal's repentance. How far have you gone? In which way have you gone away from fellowship? In which way have you deviated from scriptural conviction? The prodigal's repentance. Jonah. Was a prodigal. He went away from the Lord. From the path of duty. From the calling. 
The Lord had given him for a God prophet. Repentance is necessary. The prophet's repentance on behalf of the nation. On behalf of Zion. On behalf of the church. On behalf of the state. The prophet's repentance. The people's repentance. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and not act holy, holy, and not act holier than thou, and not act and better than them all, and not act like they are sinners, I'm a saint. I cannot get to them beneath my dignity and my position to go to them. I'm high. They are low in the dungeon of sin. Repent. The people's repentance. Repentance means turning away. From everything God frowns at. Turning away from all the carelessness, careless talk, careless act, careless behavior, unbelief, ignorance, darkness of mind, Turning away from them, repentance. Complete the cycle. The cycle of repentance. Personal, parental, the princes, the priests, the prodigals. The prophet, the people. Repent of selfish prayer. Me and me and me alone, without remembering in the peace of your country, will you enjoy peace? In the prosperity of the land, for you have a share in the prosperity, in the progress of the state, of the nation, where you make progress. And now claim the promise of God, abide in peace, fear not. He says he'll take all the sources of fear away. Productivity in the land is a productivity that will yield provision and plenty and prosperity. Bring our nation before the Lord. Bring the stage before the Lord. He has promised abundant provision. He has given assurance of prosperity. Amazing providence. Of sufficient plenty and the presence of the Almighty. Stand on the promises. They cannot fail. 
believe the promises. They cannot fail. Claim the promises. Not just for yourself. Not just for your family. For the church. For the state. For the nation. Plead with the Lord. Prevail with the Lord. That he will not forget his promise. He will not forget his people. He will not forget the land. Plead with him to show favor on his people, on his creatures, on our country. Let him remember our land. Lord, remember. Lord, have mercy. Lord, fulfill your word. Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, Those who believe the Lord has answered their prayers, they said, The Lord has answered your prayer. Blessings upon your personal life, blessings upon your family, blessings upon every local church. Blessings upon our church altogether. Blessing on our stage, Lagos stage. Blessing on the land of the country of Nigeria. Raise up those hands. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because of the calling you have given us tonight as well to repent. Every section of society, every person, every individual, we pray, O oh Lord, accept our repentance in Jesus' name. Amen. Repentance of every person. A repentance of all your people. A repentance of the whole church. A repentance on behalf of the nation. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. You said you'll hear from heaven. You said you'll forgive us. You said you'll forgive your people. Forgive in Jesus' name. Amen. And you said you'll heal our land. Heal our land. Heal our land. Amen. Bless our land. Amen. Prosper our land. Amen. Everything we have missed, everything we have lost, let there be a mighty restoration upon the whole land in Jesus' name. Amen. Upon everyone here tonight, pour out your blessing. Break every yoke. Destroy every work of the devil. I will pray, Lord, the open doors you have given, those doors of opportunity will never be closed again in Jesus' name. Peace for everyone. Progress for everyone. Plenty for everyone. Prosperity for everyone. And Lord, I pray every good desire of the people of God, your grant unto each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Your people will never be ashamed again. Restoration upon every life. Recovery upon every life. Abundance of your blessing upon every life, even from tonight in Jesus' name. As your people go away, we pray, Lord, we'll still continue in the spirit of repentance. 
I will continue to possess all our possession in Jesus' name. Lord, we will see your blessing upon every life, upon every family, upon our whole church. We'll see your blessing upon this stage. We'll see your blessing a turning around upon our nation in Jesus' name. Lord, affirm the blessing. Confirm the blessing. And let the joy of the Lord be the strength of all your people. As your people go back home, protect them. Let your blessings follow after them. Lord, surprise everyone with supernatural miracles. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray.